stop annoying me, stop annoying me, stop annoying me, stop, stop annoying me, you know, but you just go mellow, 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 spike, like that. And today on the news, it's <laughs> over so news reporters. <laughs> Nothing in my teeth? God. <laughs> yeah, I've got quite a bit in my teeth. <laughs> what, lipstick? Yeah. Ready? Um, where do I look? At the camera. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got my husband Chris in the video with me because we thought we would do a little, well I thought, <laughs> we'd do a little couples q and A. I I know Chris is not really that keen of being this side of the camera and when I did my rewind video, it just hit me that I looked like I was just <sighs> raising the kids by myself. Oh, good cameraman. <laughs> Chris never gets involved, so I said to him, she fancy doing a little couples Q and A, and I put um, like ask us a question on Instagram, and I got loads and loads of questions which you guys wanted to ask. So we thought we'd film one of those for you today. You ready? Ready. We're just going to jump straight in. Um, so because Chris is quite um, absent from my videos, I thought we kind of like start off with you guys getting to know him a little bit more. So um, Hula Twenty Three has asked, "What does Chris do for a living?" Um, so for the last 12 years I've been a professional footballer, uh, playing for Peterborough United, and that's where I met Kerry, um, playing for Gillingham, Stevenage and Wimbledon, and I'm currently playing for Chelmsford City. Which is really handy because he's literally just up the road, so um, that's what you're doing now. What is um, your dream team you would like to play for? This has been asked by Home on Edison side drive sorry if I pronounce these wrong so growing up I always supported Spurs Tottenham Hotspurs and uh, yeah a dream would be to play for them but I think I've passed my time for doing that now <laughs> he but has played against them though I've played against them at White Hart Lane which was one of my highlights of my career so uh, that was a tick off the list yeah but yeah that would have been my dream team to play for but I said I'm nearly 32 now so I'm getting on a bit it's getting quite old and in football terms you're getting quite old yeah. Um, what will Chris do after football? Asks Leah. 3358. Good question. <laughs> Good question. He's uh, not sure. We have discussions daily, yeah. sometimes hourly, of what are you going to do? And he's like, ooh. It's really tricky, isn't it? It's tricky. It's like. Um... For 12 years, all you've known is football, and then to start thinking about what you want to do afterwards. I've been doing my coaching badges, so that's one thing I could probably stay and do some coaching and football. Uh, but there's a few other things that we're thinking about doing, so yeah, watch your space. Okay, um, Kids Groove Girl 1 asked, who asked who else? You asked me, didn't you? No, absolutely not. Chris asked me out, he kept pestering me, but I kept thinking that he was this like slimy footballer and he was just gonna have been with a million girls. Well, so, <laughs> no he hadn't. He was only, you were what, you were 20 when I met you, so, um, and he was actually one of the nice ones. So finally, after asking me for ages to go out. You said yes. I said yes, because I thought he'd make me cringe and he'd put me off him, but. 11 years later, we're still here. <laughs> G Anderson, 1804, has asked, who wears the trousers in our relationship? Um, that's a really tricky one, actually. Well, I've got, a, I've got an answer for this, actually. I think... We're equal. Yeah, but I think I used equal to. Equal trousers. <laughs> I think I used to, and now Chris has kind of stepped up a bit, and he... Um, you've definitely come into your own and we both wear the trousers now, I think. Mm. Would you agree? Sometimes when we so. used to argue, even if I was in the wrong, he'd always come and apologise, bless him. But now, he won't and I'm like, Not having any of that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Not having any more. And I'm like, what's going on? You used to, you used to always apologise. Right, G Anderson, 1804, has also asked, who is in charge of finances? Definitely me. I kind of yeah. um, organised all the well, bills. When I was on my own, I, I did it all the time, but then Kerry came along and kind of took over, just gradually, just sort of like... Okay, yeah, but you've I, never I mean, minded. Look at that, but then I've been like, oh, okay, yeah, do it. She's probably actually better than me, so yeah. why not? It, I did make, get it, make, an, it makes sense. I did get an A for GCSE in maths. No, I didn't. 
<laughs> um, I sort out all our mortgages and everything like that, but I quite enjoy doing it, so I don't mind at all. Um, right, Sammy Ashaf, Ashaf Quat has asked, um, what is the best pastime activities that we both enjoy doing together and that we would recommend for couples? Um, Netflix. <laughs> No, activities, it's not an activity. I'm joking. Um, best pastime. We've always been people who get bored if we're at home too much and we like to be out and about, don't we? So, we played golf once. Go ape. It's good to do together. But, one year... Oh, we like... Oh, yeah, that was good. That was cool. But one year he booked it for my birthday. He was so excited to take me. I literally spent the whole time hugging the trees, <laughs> didn't I? I was petrified. I mean, I know nothing was gonna happen to me and I didn't really think I was afraid of heights, but wasn't I? The next yeah. day, all of this part of my arms ached so much because I was holding the trees so tight. And you just found that hilarious. It was quite funny. But at the same time, we sort of learned to work together. Yeah, you helped me. through it. So I think that was, I think it's quite a good thing to do with a couple. And it was loads of fun. Yeah. He was really annoyed that I'd gone first because I was holding you up so much. I'm so slow. So that is a good activity to do um, as a couple. Right, Frankie May has asked, did you choose your engagement ring or did Chris? So Chris designed it. So my diamond is actually my nan's. This was her engagement um, diamond. So my mum had another ring and she had always said that when I was going to get married this was going to be the diamond that was going to be given to me so Chris asked my mum for the diamond and then you actually designed yeah, the ring so yourself. Yeah so I took the diamond out of the old ring and then created the whole new band. Yeah, yeah. so you did a very good job. Very good. good job. I think it's like a Tiffany style isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's, what the, that's what the jeweler told him isn't it? Um, right, Mrs. Pot Gator, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Instagram names. Is it who? Mrs. Pot Geeta. 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 Um, any desires to move back to South Africa? No, um, not really. I mean, the weather obviously is a massive bonus, but my family's here, my life's here. So um, my extended family, like my cousins and my aunts and everything like that are all in South Africa, but my immediate family are all here. So no, I've not really thought about moving back to South Africa. Um, right, M's Gould has asked, where would you love to live in the next five years? Where would you love to live? Um, Brentwood? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm open to anywhere really. I would, I would actually love to live abroad. I would, yeah, that would be pretty cool. I think it would be such a cool life experience to live in a different country and for our children to be brought up in a different way. Even a country where they don't speak English as their first language and the boys have to learn a new language, I think that would be so cool. Um, but I always keep saying to Chris about trying to get him moved to like Australia or America or something like that, just for something different. But if it's not... It's harder when you've got kids, isn't it? Yeah, it's harder when you have kids, but um, I just think I moved when I was eight from South Africa. I adapted and I didn't find the move hard at all. But I only, I only lived in one house my whole life. Yeah, Chris only lived in one house his whole life. So basically, he wants to live in Brentwood for the next <laughs> five years. Um, right. Um, what are each other's annoying habits? I know. I know. <laughs> okay, let me do yours first. So. Chris will make sure downstairs is so tidy, but he, he hides, he doesn't tidy, he hides. So he'll just stuff things in a drawer. So we've got a shit drawer and that is purely down to Chris. But then upstairs, well, it's like an atomic bomb goes off. He has got the most wardrobe space and out of all of us, yet his shh is wow. still, you have. You've got that whole wardrobe. You've got the two boxes above and then you've got He's got extra storage under Rory's bed for his um, winter gear. I have loads of sports stuff though, so I need, and they're all big, don't, clumpy you, stuff. You, you have silly little things. You, but you wear the same thing every day. Like, you don't wear the different sports gear all the time. And then he's got the whole of under our bed because it's all just stuffed under there. That's what annoys me about you. Well, where do I start with this one? <laughs> oh no, you have to just say one thing. You can't say loads. Um, do I have any bogeys? Yeah, but that is a genuine. Is there anything in my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but those are 
genuine questions because the worst thing I think is if you go out and then you look in the mirror and you've got something in your teeth or you've got a bogey. If ever I'm with someone and they've got a bogey or something in their teeth, I always tell them because I would so want someone to tell me. I don't, I don't ask as much as I used to. No. <laughs> right. We're going to do last question now because I feel like this is going to be so long otherwise. Um, if you want a part two, let us know because I have loads more questions anyway. Who is a stricter parent? Life with my little boys is asked. Probably me. Do you think so? Well, they always go to you because they know that you're probably easily persuaded. Well, I... if they don't come to me because they're like, I'm going to say no. <laughs> I actually think the boys know us quite well. They know who to come to for different things. Yeah. So, you one of those people if, though. If, if they want entertaining, they'll come to me. If they want like some love, I suppose they come to you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if they want some chocolate or something, they'll probably go to Kerry. Do they? You reckon? I, reckon yeah. I don't think so. Well, they'll try it on both of us. Yeah, they'll say, Mum, can I have some chocolate? I'll say no, then they'll go down and have some chocolate. And then, um, they're quite clever like that, but you're one of those parents that will be, he's like this, down, 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 hits the roof like that. <laughs> Whereas I'm like this, stop annoying me, stop annoying me, stop annoying me, stop, stop annoying me, you know, but you just go mellow, 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 spike like that. That's yeah. what you do. When they're not listening, that's what gets me. When you've asked them for the seventh time to do something and they're still yeah. not doing it. But yeah, that's, you don't give them any kind of warning that you I do, I have quite a few warnings. No, you don't. The fifth no, time, but... After the fifth time I'm asking, that's when I spike. Yeah, no, but that's what I mean. You don't give them any warning that you're about to spike and then suddenly it's like, <laughs> hit the roof. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I would say we're probably about equal. We're just different in our approach to it, aren't we? You're a spiker. I'm a steady growth. <laughs> they can kind of feel that I'm starting to get cross with them. So that is all of our questions for now. If you do want part two, let us know and comment down below with any more questions you want to ask. Um, I do have some more on Instagram that I didn't answer, sorry. I just tried to kind of get through as many as we could, but otherwise this video would be like 30 minutes long. You don't want that, guys. So thanks for watching us. Did you enjoy having him in my video? Should he be in front of the camera a little bit more than behind the camera? Nah. Thanks so much for watching today, guys, and we will see you again soon. Bye!